today we will discuss about family planning the human population is growing rapidly and this is a major cause for concern with the increase in population the resources of the earth will deplete more rapidly the environment will be adversely affected and it will be difficult to maintain the quality of life of the large population it is therefore extremely important to control population growth in many countries as in ours the population grows rapidly because birth rates are high and death rates are comparatively low in such countries it is extremely important to have a small family the population of our country is increasing rapidly day by day though our country has a sufficient food resources but still many people do not get sufficient food for their large families so every year it is uh, it is becoming uh, very difficult for our government to provide sufficient food adequate clothing good housing and proper education to every citizen of the country and therefore it is very important for the couples husbands and wives who are in the reproductive stage of their lives to control the size of their families by having fewer children um, by practicing family planning through birth control measures family planning enables a couple to decide on the number of children it wants to have and when when to have if a couple has less number of children it can provide good food good clothes and good education to each children this will make the parents as well as the children happy so a small family is a happy family family planning can be done by practicing birth control measures birth control can be done by preventing pregnancy in females or women so prevention of a conception is called contraception or the prevention of a pregnancy in women by preventing the fertilization is called contraception clear the prevention of a pregnancy in women by preventing fertilization is called contraception or simply prevention of a conception is called contraception and a conception can be prevented in the following ways number 1 we can barrier method or mechanical barrier number 2 chemical methods and number 3 surgical methods so these three are birth control methods barrier method chemical method and surgical methods mechanical barrier or barrier methods so there are a number of methods of contraception that create a mechanical barrier between the sperms and the egg one method is to use a fine rubber tube called condom this is worn over the penis during sexual intercourse so that semen is collected in this tube and not discharged in the vagina this method also prevents the spread of aids and many other sexually transmitted diseases a diaphragm or a cap can be fitted in the cervix of a woman to prevent semen for reaching the fallopian tube so condom is used by the male and the diaphragm or cap is used by female so condom as well as a diaphragm prevent the sperms from meeting the ovum or egg by acting as a barrier between them and i told you that this method also prevents the spread of aids and many other sexually transmitted diseases like gonorrhea syphilis etc i u c d an intrauterine contraceptive device i u c d intrauterine contraceptive device or loop or copper t is another contraceptive device which can be used by a woman to prevent conception an iucd is made of plastic or stainless steel 
it is inserted in the uterus. Its insertion causes irritation in the uterine lining. As a result, there is a lot of mucus secretion which prevents implantation of the embryo. Okay, a copper tea is placed inside the uterus by a doctor or a trained nurse. The IUCD or copper tea prevents the implantation of fertilized egg in the uterus. If a woman uses a copper tea as a method of contraception for avoiding unwanted pregnancies, then copper tea cannot protect her from acquiring sexually transmitted diseases. If her partner has such a disease, but it can prevent the pregnancy. Clear? Next is chemical methods. In the chemical methods of preventing pregnancy, the females use two types of pills, oral pills and vaginal pills, which are made of specific drugs. Oral pills can be taken to change the hormonal balance of the body so that the ovum is not released from the ovary. Since the ovum does not come into the fallopian tube, it is not fertilized. Oral contraceptives are tablets which a woman has to take every day. There are also birth control pills. Of all the contraceptive measures, oral contraceptive pills are most effective. However, the change of hormonal balance caused by the intake of oral contraceptives occasionally has undesirable side effects. And vaginal pills contain the chemicals called spermicides which kill the sperms. Next, surgical methods. Surgical methods of birth control are available for males as well as females. In males, a small portion of the sperm duct or the vas deferens is removed by the surgical operation and both the cut ends are tied properly. This prevents the sperm from coming out of the testis. The surgical procedure carried out in males is called vasectomy. Okay, vasectomy and the surgical method uh, carried out in females is called tubectomy because in females a small portion of the oviduct or fallopian tube is removed by surgical operation and the cut ends are tied together. This prevents the ovum or egg from entering into the oviducts. Therefore, this method in female is known as tubectomy and in male the process was known as vasectomy. Surgery can also be used for aborting unwanted pregnancies. However, this is often misused for illegally aborting female fetuses. The killing of a fetus is called feticide. F-O-E-T-I-C-I-D-E. -E, okay? The killing of a fetus is called feticide. So to prevent female feticide, parental sex determination has been prohibited by law. So the killing of a fetus is called feticide and the killing of the unborn girl child is called female feticide.